So what is acidic condensate? Well, it's produced by every high-efficiency gas-fired appliance like a boiler, furnace, or water heater. When these new appliances do their thing, they extract additional heat from the combustion gases. And when those gases cool inside the appliance, the vapor hits the dew point and turns into a liquid. Then, the acidic condensate drains out of the appliance's condensate trap. Unlike air conditioning condensate, though, this condensate is acidic because we burned hydrocarbons. As a result, this residue needs to be treated before it can be safely discharged into the plumbing and ultimately the wastewater system. Gas-fired high-efficiency appliances, which are those rated 90% or higher, are becoming more and more common in homes and businesses because of new rules pushing for energy-efficient solutions, the prevalence of natural gas infrastructure across the U.S., and consumer preferences for on-demand heat. In fact, by 2029, it is expected that all gas appliances sold in the U.S. will be high-efficiency models using condensing technology. But here's the catch. While these appliances are great at saving energy and lowering energy bills, they produce this acidic condensate. And it's not something you, or a home or building owner, wants. As you'd expect, acidic condensate is loaded with all sorts of acids like nitric, sulfuric, sulfurous, and hydrochloric acid. If you let it linger, it can damage floors, foundations, drains, and cast iron pipes. It can also harm the surrounding environment and affect wastewater systems. So, properly treating this acidic condensate is crucial. You'd be surprised how many installers don't realize the dangers of sending this condensate into the plumbing system untreated. Some don't think much about it. Others are unaware of the code requirements. But think about it. A typical residential, high-efficiency appliance will produce approximately 2 gallons per hour of this liquid. That's an estimated nearly 9 billion gallons of acidic condensate the condensing appliances are churning out every year. That's a lot of potential damage to property and the environment. So, what's the solution? A condensate neutralizer. This filtration device is the unsung superhero of the plumbing and HVAC worlds, swooping in to save the day by treating that acidic condensation before it can cause damage. In most cases, that waste is defined as anything with a pH below 5.0. Acidic condensate from heating appliances has an extremely low pH level, generally 2.9 to 4.0 pH. Regulatory bodies have begun to address the issue. To protect our wastewater infrastructure, many plumbing codes now prohibit property owners from discharging corrosive wastes into the plumbing system. There are already several overarching codes applicable to acidic condensate. For example, the Environmental Protection Agency, Section 403.5b2, prohibits discharge of corrosive pollutants. Going further, the International Plumbing Code, Section 803.1, considers neutralizing devices, in fact, to be essential. Local municipalities across the country have begun to follow suit and introduce similar code requirements. Condensate neutralizers are the missing piece to every high-efficiency gas-fired installation. These devices protect facilities and wastewater infrastructure from potential damage. Similarly, condensate neutralizers prevent destruction of septic systems given untreated acidic condensate will destroy beneficial bacteria. Neutralizers also ensure compliance with plumbing regulations for treating corrosive discharges. Plus, they safeguard the surrounding environment and groundwater. While today's condensate neutralizers are extremely effective, this was not always the case. Early neutralizers were essentially crude and inept instruments, often just a large box with marble or limestone chips. Then, companies such as JJM Alkaline Technologies created innovative, purpose-built neutralization solutions that changed the balance. JJM Alkaline Technologies is the innovator and industry leader for condensate neutralizers. We built the first one, now we build the best ones. JJM condensate neutralizers work with gas-fired high-efficiency appliances to safely treat and discharge condensate. They are powered by PH Power Pellets, the proprietary neutralizing media found exclusively in JJM products. These power pellets are non-toxic and include magnesium oxide as the active ingredient. Condensate neutralizers essentially act as a filter that raises the pH of the condensate, or the root of the problem, ensuring it can be safely discharged from the home or building. Let's take a closer look at the process. First, acidic condensate leaves the high-efficiency appliance and slowly enters the neutralizer. Next, the condensate makes contact with the media and soak time begins. Then the media neutralizes the condensate, raising the pH level to between 5.0 and 9.5 pH. 
finally, the treated condensate is safe to be released into the plumbing system. Neutralizers are not one size fits all though. It's important to pick out the right neutralizer that can handle the amount and strength of the condensate produced in each installation. To figure out which neutralizer is best, installers should focus on the estimated flow rate of condensate, which is based on how efficient and powerful the heating equipment is. There are other factors to consider, like the composition of natural gas being burned, the setup of the site, like where the heating appliance is located, operating hours, heating days, and maybe even the type of heating system. All of these factors can play a role in picking the right neutralizer. Before installing the condensate neutralizer, there are several things to keep in mind. Most importantly, the outlet of the neutralizer must be lower than the condensate drain on the appliance. Neutralizers are gravity fed by design, so this factor is critical to ensure the appliance does not back up. Also, most neutralizers are to be mounted horizontally, either on the floor or wall. Other models are designed with a vertical orientation, such as those to be wall mounted underneath tankless water heaters. Before beginning installation, shut off the power and gas to the appliance so no condensate is flowing. After the condensate trap, connect the appliance to the inlet of the neutralizer with hard pipe or vinyl tubing. Be sure to use unions before and after the neutralizer for quick routine maintenance and replacement of the neutralizing media. Leave some access to the condensate discharge from the neutralizer outlet so that the service technician will be able to easily test the pH level. And whatever you do, don't let flue gases go through the neutralizer. It could lead to carbon monoxide leaking out which is dangerous and could even be deadly. Next, connect the neutralizer's outlet piping to a drain that's nearby. If there's no drain close by, you might need to connect a condensate pump to send the treated condensate to a remote drain. Or use a neutralizer model with a built-in condensate pump, like JGM's all-in-one model MBT400P. Make sure the drain line from the neutralizer has a slight slope away from the outlet, and make sure condensate won't flow back into the appliance. Use Teflon tape on any threaded plastic fittings, and only use anti-corrosive materials. Don't use copper piping on these condensate lines. If you must install the unit outdoors, weatherize the neutralizer from freezing temperatures and UV exposure. Secure the condensate lines and protect the neutralizer if there's a risk of damage from foot traffic. Before you fire up the appliance, fill the neutralizer and traps with tap water to get the flow going. Never run it dry. Once everything's set, Turn the power and gas back on, and make sure the appliance is working like it should. Check that the condensate drains out properly, and test the pH level at the neutralizer outlet. And if you need more detailed instructions, head to our website for step-by-step -step guides. A properly installed condensate neutralizer can perform effectively in high-efficiency installations for years, provided the device is routinely inspected and its neutralizing media like JGM's proprietary pH power pellets, is replaced regularly. Although every burn is different, generally, the neutralizer should be serviced at least every 12 months by inspecting the device and replacing the neutralizing media. Best-in-class installers and service technicians will include neutralizer maintenance into the preventative maintenance program performed on the heating appliances. Over time, not maintaining a neutralizer is equivalent to not having one to begin with. Maintain that protection and stay on the right side of the plumbing codes. Find out more about the importance of condensate neutralizers. To learn more about this add-on that adds up, visit JJMAlkalineTech.com.